Hey guys, it's Lori. I'm just finishing up a job and heading back to the stores again. My, my son is at work right now and he's totally freaking out, like big time, big time, <laughs> because of something that he just heard, which I'm not gonna say it because right now it's a rumor as far as I know, completely could be fake news. I won't even begin to say it. But just in case it isn't fake news, I'm going to the store right now. So, because he's freaking out. I'm not, I, you know, I'm like, hey, you know what? It's okay. We're going to be all right. I got you. I got you. I got you and you. We need to be sticking together right now, though, seriously. Instead of freaking out, just we'll be okay. So anyway, I'll check back. I'm going to go to the store. We're going to find out what's going on at the stores right now. Is there anything left on the shelves? And if there is, what am I going to end up with? We'll find out. Okay, so I just went to Aldi and I spent a lot of money. I went to Walmart and I spent a lot of money. I bought for myself and all of my boys. And I have enough for my mother as well if she needs anything. Um, I will share with my neighbors if need be. I'm preparing for it just in case the rumor I heard today is true and everybody else seems to have heard it too because everybody in there was talking about it. Um, Aldi was very well stocked, very well stocked. Walmart is not. Everybody's coming to Walmart. It's turning into be sort of Black Friday-ish in there right now. But you know, I smiled at as many people as I could get to make eye contact with me. I spoke to people and I was, you know, be kind, spread kindness right now because people are freaking out and it makes people just on edge. When I was just in there right now, I didn't feel the bad energy like I felt at Costco. I don't want to say it was bad energy. It was eerie. I felt some eerie kind of energy there. It was really strange. I didn't feel that here though. I don't know. Some people were just getting their groceries, you know, just plain and simple. I'm honestly stocking up and getting what I can get. So I'm actually sitting here right now. I should just turn the van off. If I do, it's going to click because my Bluetooth is going to disconnect. Open my door, make it disconnect and it's still going to click at some point. I can't hear it click until I'm editing, but it might have clicked because I think it flashed off. I'm not really sure. So anyways, yeah, I have a Bluetooth thing that plugs in because my van's old. I mean, I still have a cassette deck for crying out loud, but yeah, I have one of these. It plugs into the, well, we used to call them a cigarette lighter, but these days I guess they're just like an outlet or whatever. It's just a Bluetooth thing that connects to my phone and that's what sometimes you'll hear the click in my videos and that's what it is. Um, I finally figured that out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting here waiting for John because um, yesterday our Keurig, no, not yesterday, this morning, our Keurig bit the dust. Um, when you brew a cup, it sounds like it's brewing, but when you go to grab your cup of coffee, it's like, there's nothing in it. Oh, that's because it's all over the counter. <laughs> it doesn't go through the K, the K cup, so it's just clear water, like all over the counter. It's like, oh wow, that's nice. So yeah, I tried cleaning it out and doing the thing where you, I don't know. I tried messing with it, brewed another cup all over the counter, but I was ready for it that time. I had rags out ready. Kind of watching for John. Is that him? That might be him right there. So, oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, I'll get back with you guys. I guess he's going to come and we're going to go in and buy a Keurig. So probably just get an inexpensive one. We're not going to get anything fancy. And it's not like it's a real big necessity, but we want one. We got tons of K-Cups at home. So in fact, I just bought more at Aldi. So yeah, I'll get back with you. All right, guys, I'm home. I have everything stacked up all over the entire kitchen. John thinks I'm bat stuff crazy, and I probably am, but that's okay. None of this stuff's going to go to waste. I have plenty of stuff for me and my entire family to last us quite some time. I did spend, I wrote it down. 
Hold on. $541.80. John must be asleep or he would probably be saying, what? I was asleep I heard you. Oh, he heard me. I think he probably had some kind of a clue as to approximately what I spent. And that doesn't actually include another $60. It was $59 plus tax for a new Keurig. Our old one's still sitting over there. We did get a new Keurig, just the cheapo one. That's fine. We don't need anything with a bunch of bells and whistles on it. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I was going to separate it into a different video, but I think if I just kind of take my camera around and show you, it won't take as long. I've already cleared out all of the bottled water from my spare fridge. And there was like a whole case of 40 plus a few more in there. So that's going to clear out a lot of room. And there's a few bottled waters and we also have a mini fridge in the laundry room plus the fridge in the kitchen we have the freezer that's in here in the kitchen on you know the, the top of the fridge is a freezer and that's the spare fridge also has a freezer in it plus we have a big upright freezer so yeah i mean we've got plenty of room to put this stuff but i am gonna have to organize the freezers so <laughs> yes i stocked up yes i spent a lot of money on food and such but I didn't get, I'm not hoarding anything. This is a stock up grocery haul. If we do happen to not be able to leave the house or what have you, we've got food. We've got food for us, for the whole family for a while. So, and you know what? It's none of this is going to go bad before we use it regardless. So. I'm not hoarding, I just stocked up on a lot of different things. So I also wanna say that not everything that you see is gonna be low carb because not everything that's here is for us. A lot of this, some of this stuff is for my boys. So anyways, let's get busy. I, I have stuff stacked everywhere, you guys. I got two heavy whipping creams. I got six half and halves. Okay, some of this stuff's from Aldi, like the half and half, this is from Walmart. Aldi did have some, but I just decided while I was at Walmart, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and grab some because I thought of something that John said he wanted for one thing. And I'm going to whip some of this for him. Anyways, we'll get into that in a minute. I got three of these French vanillas and those are all for Brendan. I got some Coke Zero. Those were $2.50 each. I also picked up three gallons of milk. That's going to be for us, for my boys. And... Just so you know, I have Brendan's living on his own right now, and my other, my older two boys live together in an apartment. I have two girls too, but they live out of town, and they're they're gonna have to fend for themselves, I guess. <laughs> they don't worry; they grocery shop at mom's too. This, um, the Gatorades. I got two 12 packs: melon, grape, and fruit punch in this one, lemon lime, fruit punch, and orange in this one. So if anybody does get sick and need some electrolytes, there you go. That's also what the 7-Up and the ginger ale is for back here. So if somebody gets sick and needs it, we've got it. I got a lot of bread. I got buns, hamburger buns, and hot dog buns. This stuff is going to go to my boys. I'll keep a loaf of this bread in the freezer and give one to each of my boys. And this will probably stay out. Hayden really likes wheat bread. So anyway, crackers, saltine crackers. If you get a tummy ache, that's what my kids like to eat. So Chase just actually didn't feel good the other day, came down and got some saltine crackers and he got the last of them. So there you go. Two bottles of ketchup, one for Brendan, one for the other boys. Same with the stuffing. I did get some oil. Um, the only thing they had at Aldi was the corn oil. I'm sorry, there's shadows, I know, but the corn oil. So I thought, well, I guess I'll take what I can get. And well, they had like olive oil and stuff too, but I wasn't trying to spend any more money than I already was. And then I went to Walmart and they had canola. So I picked that up. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I got two packages of regular flour tortilla shells also for my boys. This is what John was wanting. He was wanting like something sweet. He wanted maybe some sugar-free Jello with some whipped cream. So I got cherry, black cherry, two of each, one lime and two sugar-free orange. I also did pick up two boxes of elbow macaroni. That's just in case, what if we're quarantined, my boys need, you know, we're probably not gonna eat that. Cause guys, I'm doing my HCG round. I'm not gonna quit, but I am gonna trans, um, what do you call it? I'm gonna go into P3 <laughs> at some point very soon. And I wanna make sure that I am set and ready 
for that. So I got some more baking powder, keto biscuits, you know. <laughs> I got a little thing of Parmesan cheese, and that that's in case my boys want it, because I do have a big one already here, partial, a partial big one, some more K-cups. I did get some canned fruits, fruit cocktail. I got three cans of that, a couple cans of mandarin oranges, some peaches, some pears, all this stuff. I tried to get it. This is extra light syrup, but I tried to get most of it in like, um, in its own juice, 100% juice. So there's pears, there's um, pineapple tidbits, and some pineapple slices. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Over here, we have our eggs. Aldi had a limited three, so I did get three dozen. We only have about a dozen in the fridge right now. And like I said, I'm gonna be going into P3. I wanna have stuff for that. Walmart, this was all they had left there. These are kind of pricey for me, but I did get these, the brown eggs, and I got two dozen of those. <coughs> Excuse me. I also picked up a couple more cartons of the liquid egg whites, some unsalted butter. I got that from Aldi. That was all they had left for butter besides this right here. So I got two of those, and I also did get some, some of the Irish butter, and they, they had quite a bit of this. I got the package of six hard-boiled eggs from Walmart and I got six packs of those and I know that Brendan will want some of those, will want some of those, and Chase doesn't eat them, but Josh does, so my two older boys. Take and bake pizzas, I got four of them, two of the big ones and two of the smaller ones. Those are for my boys, I might keep one here for Hayden, I don't know, probably just give them to the boys because I already have pizza and stuff here for Hayden, and okay. You don't have to ignore anything you see in the, in the back here. This is all just my stuff. <laughs> but here's the grocery stuff. I got four cans of French style green beans, four jars of this marinara sauce. I did get some beef stock and two chicken stocks. Back here, there's the corn, four cans of corn. And that's actually gonna be for Chase. Brendan has a bunch. I don't know if we have any corn or not, but we don't eat corn anyways. So I got five jars of the dry roasted peanuts like i said i'm sharing all this stuff and there was plenty of stock on the shelf i didn't take the last of anything <coughs> excuse me there might have been something in here i took the last thing of i don't know but if there is i'll tell you they were very low on soups but i did pick up some beefy mushroom cream of mushroom i picked up four cans of tomato sauce three of them are the hunts and one of them is this red gold brand and it was the last can of this brand but they had plenty of hunts left well not plenty but they had a few a couple more cans of crushed tomatoes I got a bag of red apples and a couple of bags of frozen fruit the strawberry banana blend and the cherry berry blend smoothies sound good to me all right let's move on <laughs> look at all this stuff you guys look at all this stuff Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't show you what's in my silverware drawer. I even have drawers open. Look, my drawer is open. That's my extra counter space when I need it. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of peanut butter for us, for the boys. Right here, four crunchy, four creamy. These are the smaller jars, so they didn't have any big jars. I got four of the steak sauce from Aldi and also a Sweet Baby Ray's. I got a whole bunch of these potatoes these are this is all going to my boys some different flavors i got four packages of each they can choose what they want and take what they want i also got six bags of this ready rice the chicken flavor and this this whole thing right here is for my boys so okay so this is a totally different scene now that i flipped you guys back around <laughs> i've got a lot of the stuff put away stuff ready to take down to the boys john hooked up the keurig and guess what it's a piece of crap water pours out of the bottom. It's like, what? That's exactly what the old one was doing. But this is brand new. So yeah. And no, it wasn't over full or anything like that. So he's about to take it back to the store right now. I have got to show you guys this stuff because this stuff is thawing out and I've got to get it in the freezer. I got the big um, 60 ounce bag of the Normandy blend vegetables. I got a head of cauliflower and some broccoli crowns. That's for now, obviously. I did get some, oh, these two are different. Huh. 
I got some of these frozen peas. I got two bags of the steam fresh kind, and I thought that's what these were too, but I guess they're not. But I got four bags of frozen peas. I love frozen peas, so yes, I do eat those once in a while in moderation when I'm on P3. So, yeah, not right away, but later on I will. Okay, let me get some more stuff put away and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you all the meats and cheeses and stuff like that <laughs> that I got. Uh, Winston just got in trouble, he's in his crate. He peed on my Gatorade, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, he really did. It was only on the plastic part, luckily, but he's in trouble, he's in his crate. He's grounded, went to jail. I already delivered the stuff to my boys because I don't have room for it all. So I did get a big ham, a nice big spiral ham. Let me flip you around and show you the rest. First of all, I got six bags of pork rinds. One of them is the salt and pepper pork rinds. Six bags of pork rinds are right here. I also got sucralose. I got some big bleed chocolate chips. Some white, some dark, some semi-sweet. I got some Parmesan crisps. These are from Aldi. These are the jalapeno ones. I don't think they're spicy at all. Two of those, and I got two of the regular Parmesan. No, I said I was gonna show you the meats, <laughs> but I forgot about that stuff. So here's all the meats. Okay, first of all, we got some hot dogs here. I got a boneless pork loin roast. This right here, I've never had it. They hardly had any beef at all. So the fajita, se fajita seasoned flank, I got that. I got two packages of chicken drumsticks from Aldi. I also picked up three packages of this sh 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 salami. Sh okay, John just got home with the Keurig, so the second Keurig that we bought today. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, Winston had to bark at him for whatever reason. And I got some of this top brown steak, which is perfectly good as long as you just cook it slow and yeah. Anyway, got four of those, four packages of this sausage from Aldi. I really like their sausage, it's good. Add some red pepper flakes to that and you got spicy sausage. Okay, we got some bacon. Ooh, steak on the floor. We got some little smokies. Two packages of those. Some of this smoked sausage right here, and I got the cheddar kind right here. And they had only a couple of packages of the regular without cheddar, so I just got one of those. Honey, you're interfering with my video. Bacon bits. I got two packs of the bacon bits, and these are the bigger packs, the nine ounce. I did pick up some of this uncured smoked honey ham. I'll probably put this in the freezer for right now, as well as this turkey breast, even though we already have some. I kind of thought the boys might want this, but honestly, I forgot about it when I took this, uh, when I took them their stuff. I got those. I got this package of 12 burgers, pre-made. I was also gonna give those to the boys and forgot, so I'll put them in the freezer here, and they're here if they need them or want them but I got three packages of those, and then I got these beef patties too, and I was just gonna keep these here. So I'll just tell the boys there's burger patties here if they wanna come get them. All right, over here we've got sour cream, and I did get three sour creams. I got one of the cottage cheese. I did get a queso fresco, and I got the bigger package that comes from Walmart. This stuff came from Aldi, all this cheese did. I think everything else came from Aldi. Okay. I got a bag of shredded sharp cheddar, mozzarella, a big bag of the mild cheddar. We are not gonna run out of cheese, you guys. We're really not. I got like one of every kind. I'm not gonna say them all. For Here they are. For how long? <laughs> oh For yeah. How much the boys eat cheese. Yeah, I know how much the boys eat cheese, sure. <laughs> Some sliced provolone sliced mild cheddar, and some sliced Swiss, and lots of cream cheese. So, I think I got eight of them, yeah. All right, that should do it. Hey guys, that's everything. If you're still with me, thank you so much for sticking around. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.